Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to talk about how much RAM do you need in your computer. So what is RAM? The full form of RAM is random access memory. That doesn't make sense. So let me explain you what does RAM do. Basically think of RAM as a container in your computer where any program that you launch or needs to be used has to be stored over there. Let's say you have just a limited amount of RAM in your computer. Let's say right now you're working on a word application and your web browser is open. Now you want to open your email application also. Now because there is not sufficient RAM in your computer, what will happen is that the computer will remove one of the application, uh, for example the word application from your memory and load the email application. So it will work fine, not a problem, it will slow down a bit but what will happen is that when you want to switch back to that word application, it will take a lot more time for it to load. So having the appropriate amount of RAM in your computer is really important. And uh, generally there is not a fixed figure that we can come up but I can give you general guidelines how much RAM is required. To make it easier, let me give you an example uh, about the RAM requirements. My first IBM computer that was around uh, that that I got around 20 years ago, uh, it it was an IBM 286 uh, processor I think so, and the amount of RAM that we had was just 2 MB of RAM in that system, and believe me that was a really high end system at that time. So basically, uh, the amount of RAM that uh, we basically need changes uh, from time to time and based upon the operating system that you use. So let's just forget about the ancient times and let's look at. What is the amount of RAM do you require if you're making a modern system uh, that's in 2011? The minimum amount of RAM that you basically should go is 2 GB. Fortunately, uh, if you're making a new computer in 2011, basically the RAM that you need is DDR3 and RAM is really cheap these days. So basically uh, getting 2 GB of RAM is the basic minimum that uh, I suggest. Moving on, basically I think the uh, real sweet spot for RAM right now is 4 GB. Also remember that if you're going to uh, have more than 4 GB of RAM, you need at least, if you're using the Windows platform, you need the 64-bit uh, Windows because if you're using the Windows 32-bit and if you load even 8 GB of RAM, Windows will be only using the 4 GB of RAM. That's the limitation of the 32-bit operating system of Windows. So 4 GB is good enough for everyday use. And even for gamers, generally 4 GB is enough. But if you are someone who a uh, crazy junkie like me who multitasks a lot, I have uh, about half a dozen applications running all the time, three browsers I run at the time with 10 tabs. If you are someone like that, even going up to 8 GB is a good option. Again, moving from 8 GB to 16 GB, I do not recommend that because uh, that doesn't really uh, give you that edge. It will give you only an edge if you are basically into lot into video editing and uh, photo editing. If you are making a new system, 4GB is more than enough. But if you are a power user, I suggest that going with 8GB of RAM. Also, I want to mention that when you are upgrading a system, it's better to go with 2 sticks of RAM to basically get the advantage of uh, dual channel memory. So for example, let's say uh, basically you are going to install 4GB of RAM, I would say that get two memory sticks of 2 GB each so that you can take the advantage of uh, dual channel. Similarly, if you're going for 8 GB, get two sticks of 4 GB each. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, please uh, click on the like button given below. You can also subscribe to my channel to be notified about my future videos. That's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech 2 and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.